Hey guys, it's KJ from the Scariest Movie Ever channel on YouTube. And I have found the strangest YouTube channel. There's a few things I want to show you here, and I assure you as we examine this, it's going to get stranger and stranger still. As you can see here, the channel is called Alit Ra. And this is much more than just a channel. This is a worldwide movement. So if you check out the column over here on the right, it'll give you an idea that this channel is all around the world. It's a movement. It's not just a YouTube channel. Also, as we scroll down, you'll get a general feel and idea for what the channel is all about. But it can be a little bit of a deception. Here's their video section. Once again, you can scroll down and you'll get a general idea of what this channel is all about. And on the surface, it appears to be a truther style channel or a truther style movement. But when you actually start watching some of these videos, and especially when you come to their website, you'll get a better idea of what these people are really all about or what this movement is really all about. Right here it says that Alit Ra International is an association of active, honest, and friendly people who aspire to use their best qualities for the benefit of society. They say we are outside of politics and outside of religion. And here you have four different branches of the Alit Ra movement. The Universal Grain, Alit Ra Global Partnership Agreement, Creative Society, and then the Note of Violence in the Family and Society with a Phoenix. So as we scroll down the website, we get into the Alit Ra Science section. Here it says on the problems and consequences of global climate change on Earth. So of course that was one of my first red flags, but also looking at some of their content, they do talk a lot about the global warming and the climate hoax, right? And we know that's a really important part of the religion, really, of the New World Order. We're seeing everyone from crooked politicians to the Pope cashing in on this climate hoax, on the global climate hoax agenda. Check out the right side here, the Universal Grain, a fundamental social research project. Analyze the modern specifics of spiritual development, the degree of awareness and understanding of the main elements of the value context of the religious worldview in the world community. Identify the universal grain of spiritual knowledge on the basis of common primordial spiritual grains of world religions, movements, and trends. You're probably getting a better idea now of where we're heading, right? I've watched a lot of their content, and a lot of their content does push this idea of a one world order, everyone coming together, also has a lot of new age science and spirituality attached to it. Even down here, I'll continue, identify possibilities and options in leveling manifestations of the spiritual and moral crisis under globalization continues. Show the specifics of the spirit of unity and the contradictions of consciousness and the spiritual heritage of human civilization and find the common social and spiritual moral factors of the consolidation of the world community at the present stage. As I continue down, we look to the right side here, we see Scientific Experimental Project Pyramid. So of course there's the pyramid. The pyramid is our enemy. We understand it's a pyramid structure that we're fighting against. And most of us around here already understand the significance of the pyramid symbolism and the beast system itself. And we find more of these New World Order ideas coming out of Alatra. They speak a lot about global climate change, right? And we know all about the global climate change, the climate change hoax that's been perpetrated upon us for many, many years. And lots of people out there pushing that agenda have made lots and lots of money and gained lots and lots of control. Here's another section, and I find it a very common theme among all this material, consciousness and personality or any kind of discussion on consciousness. Even down here it says, instruments are given here to not only resist the evil in oneself, but also to bring here into this world that which has not been here for so long is more than the love of God, sincere, real, that freedom that washes away the dirt like fresh water and the lie of consciousness and quenches the spiritual thirst of the person. Now this last part, live conversation is the key for the person and the way of transforming a person from a known dead to an eternally alive. So there's lots of spirituality with this organization, but with no mention of Christ. That's why it should come as no surprise that there's also lots of discussion about essentially being your own God or finding the God within. And this brings us to their pyramid experiment. And there's lots of footage on the website of this experiment and what they do. 
This here says human breaks the laws of physics, supernatural experiment, pyramid. And here you can see the actual pyramid there in the background. And this video is called the unique effect of blood on the pyramid experiment. And as you can see, as we scroll down here, they've conducted many experiments with this pyramid structure they're using. So now it gets a little weirder. We take a look here at the primary symbol for Alatra. You can see it up there in the top left corner. You saw it on the main website. You can see it right here on their book. Some of you may know what this is. As with most symbols, they can have multiple meanings. So we're looking at the crescent moon and the sun. This is an example right here. This is the ancient Assyrian crescent of Baal. That's right, Baal, B-A-A-L, even mentioned in the Bible. The same god, little g, that people had sacrificed their children to many years ago. This particular symbol originated with the pagans, and you see another example of it right here the solar god, because ultimately that's where all of this goes, is Luciferianism, the worship of the sun, S-U-N, God. We see the same symbolism, we see the same kind of worship taking place to this very day. We also find the same symbol for Alat-Ra, the movement, right above the Egyptian god's head, Thoth. Today's masonry involves secret worship, rituals, and ceremonies that are rooted in paganism. Masonic mysticism is thought to have been invented in Egypt, however many other researchers and writers believe it was originally invented at Babel. The emerald tablets written by Thoth are the philosopher's stone of alchemy. It's believed that Hermes, or Thoth, invented mysticism at Babel before it was brought into Egypt. Egyptian mysticism teaches sun, star, and moon worship. These ancient mystery religions illustrate secretive sacred symbols that would be revealed only to the elite, and it's still that same way today inferior members of society would not be privy to this knowledge as they were not considered worthy to learn the mysteries. They aren't illuminated. It's also interesting to note the mother-goddess connection. The crescent moon, symbol of fertility, motherhood. In ancient Egypt, the crescent moon was the symbol of Isis, the mother of the gods. And we can see a variance of this where the symbols are flip-flopped or turned upside down. A circle atop, which is a crescent-shaped object representing horns, this is the most common symbol of the horned god, or the horned god of Wicca. So here's where it starts getting even weirder. What I discovered is, is that the name Alat Ra is actually a combination of two different names. As you can see right here, Alat is a pre-Islamic Arabian goddess. Check this out. And then of course the other name in that sequence is Ra, and most of us know who Ra is and what that's associated with. The ancient deity of the sun the sun god, fallen angel or false god. Muhammad turned those idols into the daughters of Allah and turned Hubal, the highest ranking of all, into the god of the Quran. Alat, in all three of her forms, was influenced by the Banat, which were the three daughters of, there he is again, Baal, B-A-A-L, the supreme deity of the Canaanites and symbolized by light, rain, and earth. So of course I saved the weirdest for last. Meet Anastasia Novik. She's one of the central figures to this entire movement. You'll find her featured in the majority of the work coming out of Alatra. Mostly she's involved with interviews and news segments. She's also an accomplished author. This is Primordial Knowledge, books by Anastasia Novik. But what's most interesting about Anastasia is this right here, this footage. On two different times during these different talk show sequences she was involved with, her eyes have done this. Now here she is during a totally different interview on a totally different date and we find the same anomaly. You'll see her eyes flip again. Mm -hmm. 
she does it a few times here, looking right at the camera. I showed you this is a really big organization. This is worldwide. This isn't some just kind of random little channel that no one's ever heard of before. I personally find it very interesting all these connections we've made. All of it leading back to the beast system, the beast system agenda, and the crowning of the Antichrist. We also have the symbolism also leading back to Lucifer. And what about the eyes? I'm sure there'll be many different theories on this. I have mine, but I'm curious to know what yours are. Is it a digital effect? Is it a camera glitch? Could it be a tear? Could it be a reptilian, an alien? Is this a sign of demonic possession? This is definitely the strangest, weirdest YouTube channel I've ever come across. And with that, I ask that nobody harasses these people or harasses this channel. So let me know what you think. I look forward to hearing from you. Until next time, take it easy and I'll talk to you later.